Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's start to practice Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's do warm up exercises first. Feet shoulder width apart. Prepare for side stretch. Stretch your left hand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for chest expansion. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for high knees. Right leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick back. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Prepare to rotate wrists and ankles. Rotate your left first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four, five. Prepare to do settle chi three times. First time. Settle chi to your lower abdomen. Second time. Legs slightly bent. Third time. Five, six, seven, eight. Get ready for the first set of movements. Punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. The back drives the arms to exert force. Five, six, prepare to switch. Switch, left punch, right punch, kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, harder. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare for archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring back your right leg. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, turn left. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, turn right. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three, turn. Five, six, Seven, eight. Prepare for knee strikes. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Pull with force. Three, four, five. Prepare to switch sides. Switch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Use your core to exert force. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
prepare for Move the Mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. To the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Open up your entire body. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Use force from core to push palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Get ready for the second set of movements. Great job! Do punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. Harder. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Prepare to switch. Switch. Left punch. Right punch. Kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare to do archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Right leg step back. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Keep your core stable. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your chest and meridians. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Harder. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Seven. Two. Three. Turn. Five. Six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three. Turn. Five, six, seven, eight. You're awesome! Prepare for knee strike. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Use your core to exert force. Three, Four, five, six, prepare to switch. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go prepare again. for move the mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three. To the right. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your entire body. Three. Right leg forward. Ha! Six. Seven. Eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Use your core power to push out. Three. Left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Well done, everyone. Great job! Get ready for relaxation. 
Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Exhale. Move arms back in circular motions. Right hand first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to the front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arm stretch. Stretch the right shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Three, four, five, six. Put right hand on left shoulder and look back. Relax lower back. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Try to look back. Five, six. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, three, four. Prepare to shake your hands and feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Today's Energy Bagua Aerobics has been completed. I wish you all health and happiness. Till next time. Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words The best time to plan the year is spring. The best time to plan the day is dawn. If we recite Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words every morning, we'll be full of energy, confidence, creativity, vitality, and infinite charisma for the entire day. Everything will be transformed. Please recite them aloud. I am most compassionate. I am most confident. I am most tolerant. I am most courageous. I am most trustworthy. I am most punctual. I can do anything. I am full of wisdom. I am most knowledgeable. I love to read. I love to observe. I love to listen. I love to think. I take decisive action. I am a gem of the universe. I am most charming. I am most talented. I sing most beautifully. I like challenges. I am most accountable. I will fulfill my life purpose. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. Please sit down slowly. Relax your body and mind. 
Remain calm and relaxed. Listen carefully. Can chanting improve academic performance? Actually, the most direct benefit of chanting or self-cultivation is the opening up of your wisdom. When Sakyamuni Buddha was young, he practiced meditation and self-cultivation. He achieved enlightenment. And you can say that enlightenment is great wisdom. So chanting and self-cultivating will definitely open up your wisdom and help you quickly improve your grades. That's for sure. Can chanting help you master your emotions? This is an inevitable effect of chanting. We don't have to learn to control our emotions. We naturally won't be so hot-tempered, right? I believe that our wisdom is awakened through chanting. After you've gained wisdom, when your kids make mistakes, you'll think it's very normal. As a kid, you were worse than them, so you'll stay calm. When we're not wise and we encounter problems, we can't even think clearly and we get irritated. So, through self-cultivation, we'll easily manage our emotions. This is an inevitable effect of chanting. I believe everyone will experience this change. Can chanting enhance charisma? I think it can. Especially chanting the Medicine Buddha's heart mantra. Medicine Buddha cares for everything. As a human, what are the most important things for you? For example, firstly, to have wisdom. Only when you're wise will you have good behaviors. Secondly, for your facial features to be perfect. Thirdly, to be healthy. These are not in a particular order. Chanting the Medicine Buddha's heart mantra will help you fulfill all your wishes. In your life, when you've reached a certain age, the topic of marriage always comes up. Nowadays, it's the era to love freely. Looking for a partner is the first issue that young people face. Chanting will inspire you and strengthen your magnetic field. And, there's good and bad magnetic fields. If you've reached the marrying time of life, but you're not in love or haven't found your love yet. I think your magnetic field is too weak and you should start chanting. Your parents can also help you gain merits to strengthen your magnetic field. To boost your magnetic field, one of the methods is chanting. As I mentioned, there are good and bad magnetic fields. Many youngsters are using belts or bags with a skull pattern. That's not good for you. People feel uneasy looking at it. It's hard to attract positive energy and people. It'll be hard to attract those who are truly good. So chanting, firstly, helps you gain attractiveness. Secondly, it can attract good people. Getting married involves staying together for life. You must pick the best guy or girl who will be responsible toward family and can give you a fortunate and joyful family. You just need to chant often. All right, Buddha will help you pick the right partner. For all people, Chanting will definitely increase your charisma. Okay, just come and chant. 
Can chanting improve your magnetic field? No matter whether we call it feng shui or magnetic field, it's the same thing. Chanting, firstly, can change your magnetic field and energy. If you chant sincerely, Buddha will bestow Buddha light upon you. All the deities will protect you. Many people, when they're trying to sleep, they can't get a calm, peaceful rest. At least 1% of people experience being pressed by evil energy one or more times every month. You're aware of it, but you can't say anything. You have to struggle away from it. After that, your heart feels very uncomfortable. That's the pressure from the evil energy. But through sincere chanting and practice, you'll be able to be in contact with the Buddha, who has the universe's compassionate and auspicious magnetic field and energy. When the energy inside your body is the right energy, evil energy won't come to you anymore. If the right energy in you is too weak, then evil energy will come to you easily. It's like catching a cold. When your immunity is weak and you're tired, the ill energy or virus will attack you easily. When you're stronger and full of positive energy, you won't be easily infected by the negative and evil energy. Chanting effects differ from person to person. We each have our own physical condition. The same goes for pain tolerance. You can try it out yourself. Try pinching the inner side of your arm as hard as possible. Some won't feel pain at all when they pinch themselves hard. Some will scream at the slightest touch. Why does this happen? These people have high sensitivity to pain. In other words, they are susceptible to pain. Because of their sensitivity to pain, they are also very sensitive to other changes. For example, they're quick to catch details in people's speech. Some are less sensitive and slow to catch on. I am the slow type. I'm less sensitive. I'd realize I'd been joked with a week after the joke was made. I'm not that sensitive. We all have our own degree of sensitivity and understanding. As such, our feelings on the benefits of chanting differ. Many only take 20 minutes of chanting with me to feel their hands becoming smoother and their saliva sweeter. Some would find candy tasteless. That's the difference in our sensitivity. Our physical conditions and fates also differ. There's good life, average life, and bad life. It's not that you'll have a bad life because you're less sensitive. You might be high in fortitude. Physical sensitivity is different from fate. I'm only talking about physical sensitivity. So our speed levels and feelings on the benefits also differ. Exterior changes are not as important as your inner understanding of wisdom and the way of life. Right? By knowing the way of life, you'll know manners, the truth. How to manage a family, how to behave. How to educate your children, and how to treat others. These are more important in life. Enlightenment is about understanding the truths and way of life. Only after understanding these things can people become truly wise. This is a great achievement in itself. Even though the inner knowledge and changes can't be seen easily, they are much more important than physical or exterior changes. Can I switch between chanting different holy names? 
You can switch it up, but try not to do it too much. You may think that this is like eating. Where you need to change things up. But self-cultivation is different from eating. For me, changing is fine if you do it. According to your physical and mental characteristics. You can chant the holy names of the Medicine Buddha. Guanin Bodhisattva or Sakyamuni Buddha, it's fine. Usually, we recommend sticking to one and not switching frequently. However, switching when appropriate also has its own benefits. For example, it can make chanting more interesting, or make it easier for you to stay focused. This is fine. Just don't do it too often. Too much switching will create a lot of confusion for you. So don't change it too many times. It's better to stay focused. Stay pure and healthy and luck will flow. I think we can chant for a little longer today. Don't worry about the time. After the chanting, I will also bless all friends here and online with my Dharma power. Let's not speak further now and start the chanting. Be grateful to the Buddha. Okay, let's get ready. Shi 
是释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释。释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛。南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无。本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本是释迦牟尼佛，南无本
是释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛，南无本师释迦牟尼佛。
Oh. Uh-huh. 
Put your palms together. Be grateful for Buddha's blessing and protection. Be grateful for our parents' nurturing. Be grateful to those who bring us happiness. On this extraordinary day, the energy is especially strong. After today's chanting, I believe that all of you have elevated to a higher state. While chanting just now, 
I felt a special sweetness in my throat. It was so sweet that I didn't want to swallow it. I kept chanting until I got a mouthful of sweet saliva. Then, I swallowed it slowly. This sweet saliva you have after chanting. As I have mentioned before, is called divine nectar. It's really good for our health. Right. The longer you chant, the sweeter your saliva will be. When this happens, a severe digestive problem could simply vanish. Right. I have mentioned lots of such cases. Besides, our skin has become smoother now. Just now, as you were rubbing your face, your hands felt hydrated and smooth. That's very good. Our body and skin will change. There will be lots of changes. Now, I'll begin my energy blessing for you. I'll begin by helping those who have head problems. If you have any of the following, headaches, drowsiness, insomnia, and even snoring, ear pain and pain on the back of the head, they are all considered head problems. It also includes discomfort in the eyes and ears, such as ringing in the ears and poor hearing. There's no need to do anything, just sit down and listen or watch. I'm holding an apple, a big one. This blessing is very effective. Many netizens have sent me letters. We have posted some of them publicly. The majority have not been posted. I've been teaching Dharma for decades and I've helped many people. After chanting with me, you may have different reactions. A netizen said that he felt fine in the last two days. The only problem was that he had no appetite. This is a good thing. We call it spontaneous fasting. It is a phenomenon that occurs in self-cultivation. It means staying away from food or not wanting to eat. It happens naturally during our self-cultivation. Many of you might experience this phenomenon after today. You won't feel hungry. Before, you'd feel hungry even after eating three meals. But after this blessing or a few days of practice, you won't feel hungry. In this case, don't force yourself to eat. Some of you won't feel hungry for a few days. In special cases, some can stay this way for over a month or even years. They are totally fine and have no health issues. Our principle is that when you feel hungry, you have to eat. For someone who has been diagnosed with mental issues, if he says he's not hungry, you need to be careful. For those who have no mental issues, if they don't feel hungry, it's normal. I want to help all the netizens and friends here obtain health. 
Longevity and joy, eliminate disasters and eradicate illnesses. I'm not showing off magic. So if you're feeling hungry, just eat. If you're truly not hungry, then don't eat or eat less. No one will research how much you ate or whether you're telling the truth. No one needs proof from you. You don't need to care too much about eating or not. You don't need to explain this matter to anybody. If you feel hungry, then it's time to eat. When you resume eating after the spontaneous fasting, start with eating soup or porridge, don't eat a big meal of hot pot, deep-fried food or meat stew, etc. Absolutely not. It could do you harm. For self-cultivation, it's best to eat simple and light. During self-cultivation, we should eat simple, light food. Not only to achieve the best result, but also to gain health. Some people's sickness and pain, just like this apple, are disappearing. Okay. Give me a potato. All right. I'm holding a potato. This potato now represents our body, including the internal organs, feminine diseases, and back pain. From this moment on, the pain will disappear.
All right, prepare the newspaper. Let's turn these illnesses into smoke and air. That way, they'll be gone. Right. Let all the pain, diseases, and evil energy be burned into smoke and air, and leave us alone. I hope this benefits you all. Let all diseases turn into smoke and stay away from us. In fact, illnesses and troubles coexist within us. When we're upset, we might feel discomfort in our chest. If we get angry easily, we might have back pain. When we're nervous, even our blood vessels feel pain. For example, after almost encountering a car accident. We will feel pain in the blood vessels of our arms. Right. That's the feeling. The changes in our emotions could lead to illness or even other fatal issues. We can avoid bad things through blessings and self-cultivation. After chanting, even for a short time each day, your entire body will feel relaxed and at ease. The initially tight muscles will relax after you chant. That's my experience too. Truly, I believe that the netizens have the same feeling. Yes. Your eyes are becoming brighter, that's for sure. Why are they bright? Because they are purified, healthy and energized. What else? Good luck will come. Well, I don't want to take up more of your time. That's all for today's class. I wish for you all to be auspicious and lucky, healthy and long-living. Smooth sailing and always wearing a big smile. I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Thank you. Now, 
It's time for our closing exercise. Rub your palm until they're warm. Glide your palms over your face, from chin to forehead to cheek, without actually touching them. Rub your palms until they're warm. Part your fingers and firmly comb your hair from forehead to the back of the neck. Rub your palms. Pat your entire body from top to bottom. Pat your head firmly with relaxed wrists. Do it calmly. Pat your left shoulder. Then pat your right shoulder. Continue to pat your chest. Then pat your left armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Switch to the right. Pat your right armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Next, pat your abdomen with relaxed hands. Please stand up slowly. Pat down from the front of your thighs, knees, shins, ankles, and tops of your feet. Gently pat the lower back, down to the buttocks, down to the back of your thighs, calves, ankles, and heels. Continue to pat the inside and outside of your legs. Start with your left leg. Relax your wrists and pat with slight force. Then pat your right leg. Continue to pat your arms. Start with your left arm. Then pat your right arm. After patting your entire body, Rub your palms. Gently massage your whole body without actually touching it. Visualize that you are gently sweeping away the dust and worries. You are becoming healthy and happy. 
at the same time think, I'm closing this meditation practice. Today's class has successfully completed. See you tomorrow.